In this video, I'm going to create table view controller and uh, custom cell. So I will uh, create a single view application. I'll call it. Um, I'll call this project my table view controller language Swift. Next, create. Okay, I have project created. I'll go to main storyboard. I'll make my um, view controller 4 inch and you know what actually we don't need this view controller created by default I'll delete it because we, we need navigation controller so I'll go to my um, projects library and I'll search for a navigation controller here it is uh, well too big doesn't fit okay so paste Position it here, we'll resize it to 4 inch so I can see it. Move this one closer. Okay. Because I've deleted um, my initial view controller and created a um, new navigation controller, I'm, I need to make it back initial so that when application starts up, it knows which view controller to use. So I'll select navigation controller. And in my um, on the on this right panel, I will um, under view controller. I need to tick this is initial view controller. Now this view controller is initial and and it will when application starts, uh, it will use this view controller. Okay, so uh, we have uh, navigation view controller and table view controller, and um, we need to use we need to. For table view controller uh, to work, we need table view controller uh, Swift file. So because I've deleted my initial view controller, I don't need this view controller anymore. So I'll um, rework it and make it UI table view controller. Okay, uh, very good. Now um, I will go back to main storyboard and I will associate this uh, table view controller with newly created uh, Swift file. So I'll switch to Identity Inspector and here under Custom Class I will type View Control. Very good. Okay. Um, now I will go back to View Controller and I will need to add uh, some uh, functions that, um, that belong to Table View Controller. I can in Objective C it was uh, delegate the data source. So, um, but before I do that, I'll actually uh, create uh, my array for uh, data data that's going to be loaded to um, Table View Controller. So um, that will be uh, my what our shopping list, for example, and it will be an array of strings, and I will. Um, create two apples bananas um, okay so I'll load this tool and I now need functions that um, uh, load up this um, shopping list so first of all I need um, uh, to create a function um, that's called uh, I can uh, type. I can start typing table view, and it will suggest me which functions I can um, use. So uh, the first one that I need is number uh, of rows and sections, and it is right here. So I hit enter, and I will just replace this blue bubble with code uh, with the shopping count, and I need to return it. Um, the count of this shopping list is uh, is going to be a number of uh, rows in my and my uh, table view. Okay, the next one that I need to create is actually uh, a function where I create my table view cell. So I will um, type table. View and then I will look for uh, cell for um, row index path. Uh, 
my cell for row and index bar. Cell for row and index bar. Here we go. Okay, and here I need to uh, reference my cell. By the way, to reference a cell, um, first of all, I need uh, an identifier for that cell. So I'll go back to my table view, and here I'll click, select my cell, and I will um, assign an identifier to this cell. I will reference it by my cell. Very good. And um, because it is custom cell, I need to create uh, a controller that will um, work with this cell. To create, um, I'll, let's, let's go and create it right now. So I'll um, click here, new file, and it's going to be uh, source Kako touch class. Um, in, uh, in the class name, I will call my custom cell my custom cell and the subclass of table view cell. It's hit UI table view cell. Okay. Now I need to create a zip file. Just just select UI table view cell. Next create. Okay, let's go back to main storyboard. Click on uh, on the cell. We need to assign in identity inspector we need to assign it with the class that we have just created my cell I'll select it from here my cell I call it my custom cell very good okay so now we have custom cell which is associated with uh, my custom cell swift file a uh, view controller that we have just created um, Okay, now to make this cell um, look different, I will position a label on it. And I'll position right here to make it obvious that it is custom. I don't need this anymore. I don't need this panel. I'll select view controller and open assistant editor. Okay, so now I have my uh, table view controller selected um, and what I actually need to do I need to connect this my um, custom cell my label to a custom cell file my custom cell file okay so I have my custom cell selected and that's why my custom cell Swift file became available to me in uh, assistant editor so I will uh, click on uh, the label, control, click, drag, and insert an outlet for this label. I'll call it my label. Okay, it's created. Uh, okay, and have I assigned an identity? I did. Let's uh, expand this select my cell and check if I have identifier for this cell. Yes, it's very important that cell has an identifier. Okay, I have created and it's called my cell. Now I can go back to my um, I can go back to my um, main view controller. So just hide this panels that I don't need. Go back to view controller where I've created a function for number of rows and section. Now I need to uh, re return um, cells for each row. And um, here we go. So let my cell, I'm, I'm, I'm just creating a cell that will reference from table view. And I need to dequeue it. Uh, dequeue reusable cell with identifier for index pass. This is the one I need. And here I will paste an identifier of this cell. It's very important. If you make a mistake here, it will not work. So for index pass, index path. 
it's very important so let's go back to main storyboard this is your cell I'll click here this is your cell and this cell has identifier my cell you can come up with any identifier name but it has to match in in this function so now I have my cell to return let's call it different than my cell okay I have uh, I've decued a cell now let's uh, access that label that we have and assign it a volume come on let's go back to my custom cell and I call it my label text so, oh, I'm um, sorry, that's why. Uh, I need to actually um, say um, as my custom cell. Now it will refer, yeah, my label text equals. And I will um, set the text of this label for each row to the shopping list value. And the way I accent shopping with this file, I just say shopping list. And because it is an array, I will refer the first. I will uh, access its elements by using index path row. Okay, yeah, well, actually, this one is not needed in Swift. And uh, last here, I need to return this cell. Return my cell to return okay uh, this is it okay this is it so we have a two uh, functions that are very important number of row in section and cell for index um, cell for row at index path cell for row in, in, at index path needs to dequeue um, the cell accessing it by identifier and um, there is only one um, label that we have, but you can have a picture there. You can have a different design uh, for that custom cell. And we uh, set it uh, one of the um, elements in our array, one of the values here, which I hard coded here, but you can um, read this list from a database or you can receive it as a JSON um, from from a server so let's run it actually let's run it on iPhone 5 and see how it's working okay no errors waiting come on Okay, my table view controller, splash screen, and here we go. We have a table view with two labels, which you see these are custom labels. I will go and correct this thing to make it look better, but we are actually done. And what do I see here? I see a warning. Once detected, the case of constraints okay so there's a problem with constraints let's fix it um, I will hide this I'll click on my cell I don't know I actually need this panel I'll select my cell and click on my constraints and we'll reset to suggest constraints now what I, I actually did it let's clear them first clear constraints select the label give it a little space yeah, now it will fit make the size a bit smaller for text to fit now I can set constraints back reset to selected constraints and um, run again Yep. Now we don't have a warning and we have 
apples and bananas fitting in perfectly. This is it, a very simple example. Um, thank you for watching.